ever been in that situation with a project when you've got everything glued up, you've taken the clamps off, maybe you're about ready to install hinges or install some kind of hardware where you need to drill a hole. Suddenly you realize you have no room in order to do that. I ran into that several times in this cabinet in all of these interior spaces where I, I just discovered, oh man, now I don't have the space to do it. There is one boring or drilling tool that has saved my butt 100% of the time when that happens. This is my bit roll from Texas Heritage Woodworks. And it's got all of my auger bits in it, as well as spoon bits, some um, gimlet bits, and various and sundry other things. But tucked off to the side here are these guys. These are gimlets. And these gimlets are really, really functional for getting inside tight spaces. And they're great for everything from, you know, big, shoot, driving in, screws all the way down to these tiny guys that are perfect pilot holes for um, cut nails and such. Great to have around. This is a modern set from Lee Valley. Whether you're working in a tight space or you've got to have a hole precisely bored to a certain depth, these little gimlets are fantastic. They enter the wood nicely. You don't have to worry too much about it splitting. The lead screw pulls it in so you don't have to have a lot of leverage when you're working with it. In other words, in a tight spot or maybe up underneath something where you really can't feel what's going on. But yet the handles here give you all the leverage you need to turn it. And I find that for hardware installation, like I'm screwing in a rack on the inside of this clamshell door, it's just about the perfect tool. Now determining depth can be a little bit difficult. So a lot of times using some masking tape as the depth stop or um, a pencil mark or a marker or something on here will really tell you, help you uh, determine how far you need to go. In my case, I've got a little pencil mark right here and you can very easily work right up to that line and precisely get that hole to the depth that you want. Now I don't have to take this door off or move everything else out of the way and I can just go about hardware installation right at the end of a project.